nearly as good as it was in the previous game. No. With the possible range issues that you do run into. A pick. Ooh. Another one we don't really like. Yeah. Uh, Ari's going to be picked up. So, Gragas, Ari, to round this one out. And uh, Connor Freaks, I am not enthusiastic. I could I could hear the groan from the space. That's right. Can he actually outplay this is the question as Bulldog tanks up the wave. And there's the Counter-Strike. All right, Bulldog, can you stay alive is the question. The answer is absolutely. He's got a few. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, the cast! It's too good! Orbit Deception comes in and that... A ton of questions that need to be answered. Well, Young Jay's also going to be out of fine. Kyle gets the wild growth. There's the flash immediately afterwards. And Young Jay's just going to cyclone him to death. Envy now also in potentially a tough spot, but does manage to at least land the chain. Dragon, if they are instead diving, he will be in deep trouble as it oh, is next stack. Man, it's mm. the... Um, but yeah, I played some video games as well. Uh, Bulldog gonna be able to... Feels like Guangdong are cruising towards a very, very easy victory. Yeah, looking real good. As they look to Siege. This out of turret, there is the cask. It's gonna land that time. Oh, the bouncy castle is just ridiculous. From the Guangdong Freaks, Envy just... Yeah, let's see what Dudu can find. Throws the cask in once again. The Everfrost value is massive as Envy once again denied. League of Legends not allowed, not in game number three. Quantum Freaks collect. Yeah, right, like Youngjay and, and Dudu have done such a good job at spreading their influence. Well, Everfrost not going to quite find the value, but that split was just beautiful. Twisted Advance is going to try and save the Maokai. He gets his ult off, but it does not matter. Youngjay going to look for Kyle here. Gets another spin, and that's the double as he just launches himself into the back line. Quandong Freaks. Oh, yeah, right, like Youngjay gets a couple of early leads. So does Dudu. And from that point on, Spread it well. Yeah. Like, that, that happened. That was the thing that existed in um, in our LCK this year. Um, that is going to be Soul Point now put together for Kwondong Freaks. They have Baron still ticking down for another two minutes. Two Hextech Drakes, even without the Soul, two Hextech Drakes for a Zeri composition like this is still massive. This team, everything was pointing to them just really struggling this week, right? Like the results yesterday. Able to find this redeeming game against a team that is in our top six, that is currently very closely contesting. As Bulldog is going to dive forward, Closer not going to get charmed, but has to flash to avoid it. That is that last inner turret going down. Like clockwork, exactly like you were talking about. As wishing there was a bit of extra range on those rockets is Kyle. Charm will connect this time onto Closer. He will be all right for the minute. As Young Jay going to get Brambley smashed away. And now the Wukong does need to be a little careful. The uh, cat is going to come through. The charm connects on Envy again. And he just, what is that, the third pickoff is Tayun. He's going to get wild growth. Can they actually lock him down? He picks up the kill under the tree. Doesn't survive, but still into the back line goes the Gragas. Yep, gets another body slam. There's the Polymorph. And at least they take down the Lulu, but top of the morning to you, Dudu. They will be able to take out this inhibitor turret. And Quandong Freaks, they may just win the game right here. Think they can push 20 seconds? They have a wave? This is an absolute shellacking. I know it's 29 and a half minutes, but I think it's still relevant. This Quandong Freaks is not the same team that was in game one. It's not the same team that we've been seeing lose game after game. Now up against Live Sandbox, another team in playoff contention. A sub Moham in, a doozy of a game one, and then beautiful the next two. Quandong Freaks, if you are a fan of this team and you were a bit worried about them over the last.